बैंग लेट्स टेक अ लुक टुवर्ड्स द हेडलाइंस एंड हेयर वी गो मेमोरेबल एक्सपीरियंस सेज जिनपिंग एज पी एम मोदी कॉल्स चेन्नई विजन स्टार्ट ऑफ न्यू एरा ओवर टू मंथ्स आफ्टर शटडाउन ऑल पोस्ट पेड मोबाइल फोन टू बी रिस्टोर्ड इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर फ्रॉम मंडे वुमेन गिव बर्थ टू फाइव चिल्ड्रन एट जनाना हॉस्पिटल जयपुर अमंग विच वन इज डेड मेरी कॉम सेटल्स फॉर ब्रॉन्ज आफ्टर वुमेन्स बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप इंडियाज अपील टर्न डाउन To draw India's attention towards blogging, Prime Minister Narendra Modi cleaned the beach at Mahabalipura. Later, he handed over the collection to hotel staff Jairaj and appealed to the countrymen to keep public places clean and tidy. The PM also posted a video on his Twitter account in which he can be seen picking up litter, including plastic bottles and wrappers from the beach. The exercise lasted for about 30 minutes. PM Modi is in Chennai for Indo-China informal summit with Chinese President Xi Jinping. The PM will meet the Chinese president for the second meet in the ancient port town Mahabalipuram near Chennai followed by delegation level talks. Mobile services will be restored in Jammu and Kashmir from Monday. Jammu and Kashmir Principal Secretary announced on Saturday All postpaid mobile phones will be made functional from Monday 12 noon in the remaining areas of Jammu and Kashmir he said during a briefing here having reviewed the situation a decision has now been taken to restore mobile phones services in the remaining areas of Jammu and Kashmir all postpaid mobile services irrespective of the telecom operator will stand restored and be functional from 12 noon Monday 14 October 2019 This will cover all 10 districts of Kashmir province Rohit Kansal principal secretary of Jammu and Kashmir said on Saturday Forbes has recently released 100 richest Indians in 2019 The list was compiled using shareholding and financial information obtained from the families and individual stock exchanges analyst and regulatory agencies Mukesh Ambani topped the list yet again to remain the richest Indian for the 12th year in a row according to Forbes in a year that saw an overall decline for listees some individuals racked up big gains Reliance Industries chairman Mukesh Ambani added dollar 4.1 billion to his net worth owing largely to the success of Jio with 340 million subscribers Ambani maintained his number one spot with a total net worth of 51.4 billion dollar Adani Group founder and chairman Gautam Adani followed Ambani at number two spot Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis told the PMC depositors that he will talk about this to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Narendra Modi when he meets the latter on October 13, a group of Punjab and Maharashtra Cooperative Bank customers met Fadnavis on Friday. After an election rally, he addressed here to campaign for BJP candidate and sitting MLA Sanjay Kelkar, who is contesting from Thane city constituency. Aggrieved depositors put forth their woes to the CM, who gave them a patient hearing, but said he could not give them any assurance as the model code of conduct was in force. Fadnavis said he would be meeting Modi on October 13, and he had already prepared a brief on the PMC bank issue for the meeting. Ex CM of Andhra Pradesh has given a big statement about present CM of Andhra Pradesh. Former Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh N Chandra Babu Naidu slammed the YSRCP government for implementing anti-people policies, saying that CM Jagan Reddy is acting like a psycho. He further accused the CM of filling illegal cases against leaders of other parties. The opposition leader had earlier called the YSRCP government a rowdy government. alleging that some police officers were working at the behest of the government to target the TDP and its party cadre Naidu's statement came after police stopped the party's motorcycle rally which was on its way to the TDP city office from the airport In big crackdown to Daud Ibrahim ED has identified properties at UK and India Yesterday the ED had arrested two people in connection with its money laundering probe against late Mirch who died in London in 2013 identified as Heron Alim Yusuf and Ranjit Singh Bindra the accused have been arrested under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act for not cooperating with an investigation of the case Mirch had purchased three properties located in Borley belonging to the Sir Muhammad Yusuf Trust in September 1986 
for worth of rupees 6.5 lakh through his company Rockside Enterprise. These properties have been identified as Sea View, Marine Lodge, and Rabia Mansion. A woman gave birth to five children at Janana Hospital, Jaipur, in which three are boys and two are baby girls, one of whom has already died. Doctors are constantly keeping an eye on all children, one of which is placed on the ventilator. The other three are also under surveillance. These children were born at around 8.30 am. According to the information, in the morning, a woman named Ruksana, who is aged about 25, gave birth to five children prematurely at Janana Hospital, Jaipur, out of which a boy was born in dead condition. At the same time, two boys and two girls have been kept under the supervision of doctors. All four children are premature and underweight. ये एक महिला है नाम रुक्साना है हस्बैंड का नाम वाइफ कालूराम है और 25 इयर्स की है ये सांगानेर की रहने वाली है ये लेबर पेंस करके आई थी और इनके पांच बच्चे ऑपरेशन के द्वारा किए गए हैं और उसमें से एक बच्चा तो मरा हुआ ही पैदा हुआ था बाकी चार बच्चे अभी नर्सरी में हैं और एक वेंटिलेटर पे और तीन बच्चे अभी सी पेप पे हैं माँ स्वस्थ हैं इनको उपचार तो माँ तो को तो जो ऑपरेशन से हुआ तो जो उपचार ऑपरेशन के दौरान दिया जाता है वो पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव वार्ड में है अभी और उनकी पूरी केयर की जा रही है और वो स्वस्थ है बिल्कुल नॉर्मल उपचार तो नॉर्मली दिया जा रहा है बाकी इनको ब्लीडिंग के लिए वॉच किया जा रहा है कि भाई ऐसे केस में ब्लीडिंग बाद में होने का खतरा रहता है तो इसके लिए वॉच किया जा रहा है मेरी कॉम सेटल्स फॉर ब्रॉन्ज इन वर्ल्ड वीमेंस बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप थर्ड सीडेड मेरी कॉम सफर्ड अ फोर वन डिफीट एट द हैंड्स ऑफ बुजनेस ऑफ टर्की who entered the tournament as the second seed the match however was a closely fought one although the score line suggested the judges were fully in favor of the turkish pugilist mary had won her last world championships gold medal during the 2018 edition back home in new delhi having already bagged a total of six gold medals she was eyeing an elusive seventh gold medal at the boxing worlds but her journey ended prematurely in the semi finals of the 51 kg category this was devar athor signing off keep watching the angle